Hi, I'm Dr. Otten from Cell Access. The hip is prone to injuries. The hip is a ball in a socket joint which bears the vast majority of our body every step or every strike we take. The hip is lined with articular cartilage to make the joint glide smoothly. Around the rim of the hip is something called a labrum which can also tear or fray or degenerate over time. There is also a large connecting ligament to the hip called the ligamentum teres which connects the ball and the socket. Like any major joint that bears weight, the hip wears down over time and arthritis and injuries can set in. Acute or fresh or new injuries can occur to the hip. Most often, these are injuries to the articular cartilage or the labrum. Chronic injuries or old repetitive injuries build up over time. This is when we begin to see hip arthritis. Hip arthritis causes deep-seated pain in the groin region, whether you're walking, at rest, or at sleep. The hip is also supported by muscles, tendons, and ligaments. One of the more common injuries that I typically see in hips is something called gluteus medius tendonitis, or partial tears of the gluteus medius. This also lies where the trochanteric bursa is. Both of them have pain on the side of the hip, specifically, patients tell us, when they sleep on that side of the hip on their side. The hip is also surrounded by major muscles and major structural support systems. One of the major structural support systems that becomes damaged is the gluteus medius tendon. This can wear down over the course of time, causing tendonitis, as well as potentially partial tears. These are difficult to treat and often ineffective with cortisone. With regards to both new and old injuries to the hip, regenerative methods have found to be very, very effective in these cases. Oftentimes, patients want to avoid surgical intervention. In the earlier stages, we use arthroscopic intervention with microscopes and scopes that go into the hip. The downtime tends to be six to eight weeks after this. Whereas with stem cells or PRP, one to three injections can get you significantly better in just a few weeks. With regards to chronic pain from the hip, that deep-seated groin pain, often caused by arthritis, PRP and or stem cells can be utilized to effectively treat pain. The earlier you catch it, the better your results are. Since the advent of stem cells, patients have been asking me for stem cells after hip surgery for both regenerative properties and for pain properties. Both are effective. Oftentimes, I'm now seeing more and more patients with hip replacements with chronic pain that do not want to undergo the knife again and have a total hip revision. These patients respond very well to stem cell therapies. Whether you're suffering from acute, chronic, or post-surgical hip pain, I have solutions for you here at Cell Access. When you come in for your consultation, we like to review both x-rays and MRIs if possible. The MRI shows us the cartilage and the soft tissue, including the tendons and ligaments. And the x-ray shows us the joint space availability, or how well preserved your joint is. So when you visit with us, we'll go through both your MRI and your x-ray to make sure that you're a good candidate for these procedures. Thank you.